Hey Armando, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. I have the third ticker you had sent me for the month of May, XOP, which is the Spiders Oil and Gas Exploration and Production ETF. Um, so how I wanted to start here is first by comparing XOP to two of the ETFs that we follow on a regular basis, which you mentioned in your email, which is USO, of course, the oil ETF, and XLE, which is the S&P um, Energy ETF. So the green line that you see here is XOP that shows its chart dating back to its inception back in 2006. The light pink uh, chart here is XLE, and the light orange chart here is USO. So I wanted to show you the three just to kind of contrast how they've moved over time. They absolutely are correlated, but you can see that there's some pretty significant differences that take place. For example, from 2011 to 2014, USO, this orange line, moved sideways while XOP actually moved higher. Uh, another big difference is that the decline off the 2014 high, which all three participated in, was a lot more notable on XOP. You can see it was a little calmer on XLE uh, as well as USO. Um, but all three are trying to establish some kind of low in 2016 and get their advance going from there. So that's a little bit of perspective to see how correlated they are among the three. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the analysis now. So this is the um, price action that's taken place since its inception in 2006. Um, it looks like one massive counter trend move has been in play since 2008. If this is the case, it is a very bullish thing. Um, it would basically mean that one big counter trend pullback was wrapping up or is at least very near wrapping up and that the uh, uptrend is going to resume from some larger uh, time frame that we don't really even see on this chart here even though we have the last 10 years. So that is the potential. It does look like this massive down leg that began in 2014 ended at the start of 2016 and that this has a ton of upside potential uh, in 2016. Very clearly the biggest and strongest recovery, recovery we've seen since the 2014 high. So that is very promising. So let's zoom in. This is the decline off the 2014 high. It just shows a little more detail in why we think it's completed. Um, it has everything we want to call it a completed move. It's a five wave move. Um, and more importantly, the advance in 2016 has been so strong that we have to think that uh, the future is bright. So um, if we go back to the long-term chart here, you see that we're calling this one big counter trend move. Um, one possibility that we can't rule out is that maybe things are more bearish. Maybe the decline off the 2014 high is just the start of a larger downtrend. I mention this because um, it's actually still bullish in the near term to midterm, even if a more bearish scenario is playing out long term. So even if the trend was down and we're only starting a counter trend recovery here, we would still expect a recovery that goes all the way into this yellow area before the trend turned down again. So I guess that's kind of a, you know, buffer or a worst case scenario to say, hey, even if we're wrong and even if this isn't a super important long term low, the future still looks bullish for now. So I would expect something back up into this yellow area at a minimum. So that's what we're looking at there. Um, so if we zoom in and look at the advance off the 2016 low, uh, we can see that this move does in fact look trendy. Um, and you'll notice that this is kind of an ongoing theme with everything that we're looking at right now. It looks like this 2016 up leg could be complete. It looks like a larger pullback may be emerging. Uh, that means we would get a larger pullback into this yellow area shown on the chart. So that's something we need to be aware of. Here's how we can trade it. Um, if you're in the position right now, if you already own XOP, you can use a move below 32 as an indication that a near-term high is in and a larger pullback has begun. So if you're in the position and you don't want to sit through a larger pullback, I would use 32 as a stop level. Um, if you're in the position and are more of a midterm outlook, you can stay in the position as long as XOP stays above, say, 2750. If you're not in the position yet, I would wait for the pullback, wait for it to test this yellow area and complete, and then once you start to see strength emerge again, that would be your buying opportunity at that time. So 
Um, if you have other questions about this as the move progresses, feel free to email me and I'll be more than happy to tell you if it looks like the pullback is completed and it's time to buy. Um, but overall, this does look like a great opportunity. Um, even if we're wrong and the long-term uptrend is not resumed, we could still look for a move up into this area, which would, in, which would still allow for a, a very sizable move before this recovery is over off the 2016 low. And on a shorter time frame, we may be in a pullback now that's going to last for the next several weeks, but it should be a great buying opportunity in the very near future as the next up leg begins. So I hope that's helpful, Armando. I hope you're doing well, um, and I look forward to future communications with you, uh, I'm sure, in June. So have a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.